Hi guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about removal of non-determinism in CFG. CFG is a grammar useful in syntactic verification or the role of CFG is to support syntactic analysis. The entire syntactic analysis process is carried out by parser. In order to design the parser, we need to consider few pre-processing steps. The pre-processing steps are elimination of ambiguity, elimination of left factoring, elimination of left recursion. Now let us see why we need to eliminate these three. Majorly, there are two categories of parser exist. One is top-down parser, next one is bottom-up parser. Among top-down parsers, predictive parser is one of the powerful parser. In order to design or construct a predictive parser, we need to do these three preliminary, preliminary steps or pre-processing steps. Elimination of ambiguity, elimination of left factoring, elimination of left recursion. Now, top-down parsers cannot decide which production must be chosen to parse a string in hand. To remove this confusion, we use left factoring. Let me explain what is this. Let us consider the production. Let us consider the production. S produces A, S, B or alternative production. A, B, S, R, C. This is the CFG or grammar need to be considered. The string which we are going to parse Yes, this is the string we are going to consider S T R I N G. Let me write the string which we are going to parse is let us say A B A C B. This is the string we need to parse. In this parsing, suppose S yes produces, I'm going to consider the first production in order to accept the string A S yes, B. What will happen? The first string is matched. In this case, the first string A and A is matched. Let me change the color. This A and A is matched. Now we need to focus on this B. While focusing on the B or while scanning the B, what we are going to do is, we need to replace in the next step, we need to replace A by any one of other production. Now the possibility is this A can be replaced by either this production or this production or this production. Let me replace this A by this production. A, yes, B. What is happening? Yes, there is a mismatch. This A is not suitable with this B. Now what we supposed to do? Why this confusion have come? Because of the first occurrence of the symbol having same A, but while scanning the second symbol only, we can able to understand it is replaced wrongly. We need to backtrack, then we need to do the right step. Now, instead of this step, this entire step, whatever the steps we have done so far now, all are wrong. Now, what we supposed to do? This yes, we need to replace by the production A, B, S. This process is called backtracking. At the time of taking one step at a time or scanning one symbol, we cannot understand what is going wrong in it. The alternative production might be the right production. We would have chosen the wrong production. Why that uh, confusion had come? Because of the existence of same symbol in the first position. So one symbol only computer machine can able to consider at a time. Beyond that symbol, it cannot be able to predict or it cannot be able to understand what is the occurrence of the next symbol. In that circumstances, this situation will occur. Now let us see, A and B, both are matching. One symbol at a time, second symbol at a time, it is matching. Now, S produces A is B. We need to consider the third symbol. Then what? Now also the backtracking problem will we will be facing. If I replace A as B, it will be correct. If I replace the ABS, it will mislead. So that here also non-determinism occurs. These kind of non-determinism, computer cannot automate it. When we 
do any activity with the computer it should become deterministic activity that is why we will be discussing about elimination of left factoring this is called left factoring this left side symbol have got the same occurrence that leads to confusion in the substitution or in the replacement while deriving the string or while passing the string in order to alleviate this issue this non determinism we need to carry out certain steps let us see how next left recursion what is the meaning of left recursion is i give one example here elimination let us see s produces s a b the symbol which we are using on the left hand side yes is available on the right side also this situation is said to be left recursion whenever left recursion occurs there is a chance of getting into infinite loop in order to avoid this infinite loop of execution only we need to eliminate this left recursion just because of these two instances or occurrences ambiguity will exist this ambiguity if it exist then evaluation will not become successful due to left recursion this otherwise left left factoring otherwise said to be common prefix left recursion and left factoring we can say this as left factoring also or common prefix also because of these two situation the grammar would be Uh, facing the problem called ambiguity or ambiguous we need to eliminate the ambiguous situation also this is what the main objective of this video let us start with elimination of ambiguity we need to convert ambiguous grammar to be unambiguous grammar what is the meaning of unambiguous grammar if every sentence of your grammar has a unique parse tree already we have seen what is the meaning of ambiguity for the given grammar if we able to construct more than one leftmost derivation or more than one rightmost derivation or more than one leftmost parse tree or more than one rightmost parse tree then the grammar is termed as ambiguous grammar if that exist the grammar is said to be ambiguous we need to eliminate that ambiguity we need to make it to become unambiguous for that the definition a grammar is said to be ambiguous if it has more than one lmd leftmost derivation or more than one rmd in order to derive the string or parse the string or while uh, designing the derivation tree or syntax tree parse tree syntax tree derivation tree all or interchangeable terminologies we can use anything leftmost derivation or rightmost derivation if it occurs when we can say unambiguous a grammar is said to be unambiguous if the string is obtained if the string is obtained t if the string is obtained by exactly one parse tree then it is termed as unambiguous then another uh, uh, comparison for ambiguous grammar leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation represents different parse tree then different uh, derivation is possible for unambiguous grammar leftmost derivation and rightmost derivation represents the same parse tree determinism exist uniqueness exist there is no two different situation arises ambiguous grammar contains less number of non terminals that is why easily whenever the problem statement is given students can able to design cfg with unambiguous nature less number of non terminals whereas designing Uh, our unambiguous grammar is tough designing ambiguous cfg is easy for the given problem statement unambiguous grammar contains more number of non terminals that is why it looks little bit uh, complicated notation because of the availability of lesser number of non terminals length of the parse tree would become shorter whereas for unambiguous grammar the length of the parse tree height of the parse tree would become larger ambiguous grammar is faster than unambiguous grammar in the derivation of a tree because the length is also lesser number of non terminals availability is also lesser unambiguous grammar is slower than ambiguous because of the larger size of or height of the tree and availability of many non terminals example for 
ambiguous grammar. E produces E plus E, R, E star E, R, I, D. Here we have left factoring issue, left recursion issue, all the sorts of issues because of the availability of our existence of left factoring and left recursion. This would lead to ambiguity, ambiguous situation. When we design a tree for the given string recognition, leftmost derivation, rightmost derivation, it would lead to two different trees. Whereas if you look at here, we have many non-terminals. E is one of the non-terminal, T is one of the non-terminal, F is one of the non Three non-terminals available in this grammar, whereas this. How to convert? These two are equivalent, but it is free from ambiguity, free from left recursion, free from left factoring. This has all. Now let us see how to eliminate one at a time. Now let us consider the same grammar ambiguous grammar e produces e plus e or e star e or id let us try to pass first we need to understand how this situation leads to unambiguity what kind of parse tree we are going to obtain what is the difference among the parse tree whether that parse tree is valid or not these are all the rudimentary understanding we need to have or what are all the difficulties we are going to face with the support with the now, uh, usage of unambiguous unambigu grammar, then what is the merit of unambiguous grammar? That we may need to understand as a basic elementary item. Now, we are trying to design leftmost derivation for this string and the, this string we are going to design leftmost and rightmost derivation. Look at this. Now, leftmost derivation we are considering first the starting symbol E. We are trying to replace by left to right associativity E plus E. Then left to most E we are replacing by ID. Next E by ID. Next E by ID. There are three production. Hope you know the basic uh, uh, foundation uh, required for building the tree. Now let us consider rightmost derivation E. This E is replaced by E plus E. Whereas we are trying to expand this E by ID and E by E ID, E ID. Now, there are two different ways we can be able to draw a parse tree. Both are LMD, leftmost derivation. Both way, but it leads to two different ways of evaluation. Whereas here, ID plus ID is evaluated first, next ID. Since these two operators are same, there is no... Uh, confusion or no wrong output, no wrong result. Rather, if we consider this, instead of this plus as minus, then this would become minus. The value which we are going to evaluate would lead to two different answers. That is called conflict situation. That is called ambiguous situation. That should not exist. The moment we could be able to derive two parse tree through LMD or RMD, here we have done with the LMD, Two different uh, parse tree exist. That is a determination or that is a decision. This grammar is of the type ambiguous grammar. Because of the ambiguity, what is the problem arises? Just because of same operator, there is no problem. If we use here minus, what will happen? The answer which we obtain for this parse tree after the evaluation would be different from the answer which we obtain for this parse tree after the evaluation. Now let us see. Similarly, here also the same situation will happen. Now E is re E can be replaced by E plus E or E star E. Then the leftmost E is replaced with ID. This is replaced with ID. This, this. Now evaluating this term first, then second time doing this is different from evaluating this first and doing this a second would be different. This differences would lead to two different answers after the evaluation. That situation should not exist or arise. In order to fix this problem, we are going to solve left factoring issue, left recursion issue. And ambiguity, there is no inde uh, independent existence. This is inherent existence because of left factoring, left recursion only, this ambiguity exists. Now let us move to how to eliminate those two situations. Example for unambiguous grammar. Always it will give only one rightmost derivation, only one leftmost derivation. That kind of grammar is said to be unambiguous grammar. 
let us consider this example s produces capital s s r a s b r epsilon now we need to derive the string a b a a p b in order to derive the string what we are going to do let us see first we are going to consider yes yeah, start symbol replaced by the production s s now we need to replace the first occurrence of s matching to the first symbol of the string given string a suitable to this symbol we have only one production this is the only production starts with a so that we are replacing this first s by a s b this is second s we are retaining as such we are succeeded with the first production a and the first symbol a now we need to scan the second symbol b b is under consideration while scanning the symbol b how we need to deal this non terminal if we try to replace this capital s by s s it will become very largest string if we substitute a s b it won't suit because the second symbol is b whereas this production starts with a so there is no other option so i am going to replace this by epsilon so that after the substitution of epsilon for this s we would be obtaining this now because of this substitution the second symbol b is matching then how to replace this s we need to consider third symbol a well considering third symbol a matches with only this production so i am replacing this s by this s is replaced by a s b now third symbol is also matched now the symbol under consideration is a now how this s is going to be treated only one option a s b now again it is expanded with a s b now this s is replaced by epsilon so finally the yield which we obtain would become a b a a b b this matches exactly with the input string we succeeded in the parsing action during the parsing action it should support or it should match with the given input string now eliminate the, we try to understand what is the example for ambiguous grammar what is the example for unambiguous grammar what are all the issues we would be facing because of the ambiguity it leads to more than one leftmost derivation it leads to more than one leftmost derivation because of that approach we would be getting two different answer that should not happen it should you always say same answer for that fixing the root is said to be unambiguous grammar now this is example in this example all the time we we are replacing leftmost uh, yes leftmost yes since only one s available there is no other scope of doing more than one leftmost derivation that is the situation here but without that also it is possible to design a grammar without ambiguity now for that left recursion first step we are discussing with left recursion if we look at the grammar this same non terminal occurs on the right hand side as a left left uh, part or beginning of the production these two match of the non terminal occurrence is said to be left recursion anything which we use on the left hand side as a non terminal the same non terminal if it would exist on the right hand side as a starting symbol of the derivation or the production a, a capital a s b could be anything then anything which we use on the left hand side e again we see if we start with e then these are all said to be left recursion let us see how to eliminate this left recursion whenever we find out this combination multiple combination also then we need to convert the grammar in terms of like this capital a produces a alpha or beta that means other production which are all the productions which are all not starting with the same symbol is said to be beta the productions which are all starting with the same symbol which we use in, on the left hand side is said to be recursion or left recursion now how we need to convert just carefully look at pay your attention we are going to write a then we are going to introduce the terms which are all or the productions which are all not having the left recursion that beta we need to write the original start symbol produces beta we need to introduce one new 
non terminal that non terminal always should become dash of the left side for example here we are giving a this a only we should use we need to use a dash just to standardize nothing more you can use x dash also but this is a pattern we can easily remember for the understanding point of view only we are using the same symbol left hand side what we use we should use that needs to be dash next the newly introduced this symbol a dash need to be repeated subsequently what is the alpha available that we need to write the same symbol we need to shift to after the alpha then whenever we are writing a productions for the newly introduced symbol a dash it is mandated to introduce epsilon these are all the conditions three steps first write the given start symbol with the availability of uh, not having the recursion beta a dash that symbol complement now we need to fill up this symbol non terminal with the production a dash for that we need to write down the alpha term first then we need to introduce the same symbol here once again along with the alpha how we introduced the a dash symbol along with beta similarly we need to introduce the same symbol along with alpha then we need to mandatorily introduce epsilon production this is the primary condition or the necessary steps for the elimination nothing more now let us consider the same grammar which we have seen in the beginning e produces e plus t rt t produces t star f rf f produces uh, capital e rid what is the problem we have here left recursion v e e t t there are two productions suffering with left recursion that we need to eliminate what we need to do e produces t e dash this is called beta term it doesn't suffer with recursion so we are using t e dash if e is the left hand side symbol e dash look at this pattern very well so next what we are doing we need to introduce e dash production with alpha plus alpha is what plus t plus t e dash or epsilon now let us consider this this has left recursion so star and f would be termed as alpha this is beta we need to introduce new symbol t dash that's all we need to keep these all in mind now let us move on now t produces f t dash t dash produces star f t dash or epsilon f produces f production doesn't have any issue it starts with open bracket alternative production also starts with id there is no issue we are considering as such that's it now we have done completely the elimination of left recursion let us move on to the uh, next example this one slide at a time you are see that's it there sequence of steps i have done here one slide at a time this is the grammar converting this grammar in terms of non left recursive grammar this is left recursive grammar this is non left recursive grammar that's it now let us go to elimination of left factoring this is bit easier than left recursion now let us see left factoring there are production always starts with alpha alpha beta proportion only will become different then gamma portion without any left factoring there would be set of productions uh, that, those are all termed as gamma now how we are going to rewrite a producers alpha all for the all the alpha are going to be represented by only one time then a dash we are introducing new symbol new non terminal like earlier a dash or gamma gamma doesn't have any problem so that we need to return as such now newly introduced the symbol need to be filled with the production a dash produces we need to write all the beta terms alternatively this is first terms beta or first production beta this is second production beta and we should keep on writing now let us see one example s yes, produces i capital e this is the grammar for if then else statement i stands for if e else t then s yes statement s yes stands for statements t stands for then that keyword e stands for expression i stands for if if expression then statement if expression then statement else statement or uh, other than if else uh, any other statement comes that is a now e produces b there are two different productions available in this grammar 
where we suffer with left factory. Look at this. Starts with I, starts with I. Not only this, up to IET, yes. Up to IET, yes, we can say it as left factory. After that, here nothing is available empty. Here we have yes. Now, in order to eliminate this situation, we need to rewrite non-left factoring grammar. IETS, we need to retain. We need to introduce complementary symbol, non-terminal. We need to retain all other non-left factor productions A. Then that newly introduced symbol need to be filled for that S yes dash. For the S yes dash, what we need to do? The remaining component. This remaining component, we are writing yes. Then here there is no component, it's empty. So that only we are not writing. Otherwise, we need to harvest this also, we need to write. And or A. Then S dash produces ES or epsilon we have done. The remaining production doesn't have any uh, non-deterministic situation. We are retaining as such. Over. Food for thought. Take a snapshot of this. What is the answer for the following? What is the string of terminals the below given parse tree generates? Please note down and come out with answer for this uh, parse tree. What is the string generated by this parse tree? Thank you for watching. With this, I am closing this session. Thank you all. Let us meet with the next topic in the next video.